Um, I think I did really well. Um, I enjoyed the process. It was really fun being here, um, being back in California. Um, so uh, it was very, good, very great, great, very great vibe with all the guys and all the coaches. So it was really fun. Have you been working out in a lot of different cities? Um, I'm originally from the Bay Area, um, but I've only this is my second workout. So really just enjoying it and kind of taking what's, what comes to me. Now you're known as a defensive guy, a lot of block shots and foul and, and that type of thing. Do you feel like you showed some stuff on offense today? Um, yeah, offensively I, um, I did a lot of smart plays, a lot of aggressive plays, and um, I think I showed that really well today. Like uh, alley-oops or, or dunks? Or? Um, a lot of people have known me for my, my pick and roll alley-oops and my dunks. Um, I showed that, I showed how high I was able to jump, and um, everybody really enjoyed it. The guards really enjoyed playing with me. Um, they said they, I made their lives a whole lot easier out here, which is my only job is make guards' lives easier, so that was great. Now, you wanted to play uh, college volleyball or Olympic volleyball? Um, I, at first, I was going to school for college volleyball, um, then went to decided to go to University of Kentucky. Um, but as soon, whenever basketball was over, said and done or over, or whenever, um, I will be trying to play uh, Olympic volleyball. But, um, basketball is my first love. I was absolutely basketball has been the gym. Um, but growing up, I, my my whole point was I needed to get to college. That was the only thing I wanted to do. So I was like, I'm pick, I'm pick, I pick every I do every sport I can to get to college because that was my main dream. So once I was able to, once I got really good at basketball and all the um, all the schools started calling, I started to change the decision to go to basketball so I can continue what I really love and really enjoy. We noticed you, you averaged something like seven blocks a game in high school. That must have attracted a lot, a lot of attention. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. It was really fun playing uh, back in California, or back in the Bay Area. Um, so uh, that was something we, I was really able to enjoy, and uh, both sports were able to help uh, help me be the person I am now. So that was really great. Yeah. with Julius Randle. Do you guys have any sort of relationship between the two yeah. No, me. We're with that team. We were always we always stay really close. Um, between the Harrison twins, us, Willie, Julius, we all stay really all stay really close together because we've been through a lot together. Um, throughout that year, we dealt with a lot of adversity, and we handled it and we came out together. So when you once you do something like that, you can't just like say all right, bye. I'll see you see you whenever. But so we always keep in touch. Um, always, we're all, especially since it's a little bit harder since I'm in school. I was in school while he was doing all, all doing everything out here. So it's still really able to see their success and uh, talk through and just kind of be the be a friend outside of the sport. So that's what was really cool about it. In practice, it taught you to bring your best every day, not just every game, but in every day in practice. You're, you're competing against the best people in the world in a, in your own gym. You're competing against a Willie Colley Stein, a Carl Towns, a uh, Julius Randle every day so you're either gonna get a busted lip and keep losing or fight back and it being at Kentucky teaches you to fight back and take what's yours and that's what's great about it and then after, after that after you once you pass those lines you're like all right you're still my boy but all right we can still hang out you think you got a good, good mix by you know having that experience and then being able to go to Cal and just you know being more of a spotlight role and you know, being able to develop a little more play a little um, I absolutely love my journey between from going to Kentucky for a couple of years and learning a lot from it, just about everybody I've met to going to Cal, um, focusing on my schoolwork and, and also being able to focus on basketball and honing on getting myself better. Um, is that been an absolutely great journey for me and I wouldn't change it for, world, for the world. So Julius was kind of a bruiser even back then, huh? Oh, Julius doesn't know about his how big he actually is. so he. He, he plays, he goes like a guard, and he just goes at you, and you'll get like a just slight shoulder in your mouth, and you would never know. And you'll walk out of practice like, how did I get a busted lip? And, he, and you're like, oh, that's what happened. So that's that's what's really great about him. Because I mean, he's not doing it on purpose, he's just doing it because that's how he plays. And that's what's really great about him, and I, that's why I really enjoyed playing with him. Yeah, people say his, his brand of volleyball really took hold this year as far as his career. He was pretty strong down low. Yeah, he did really well this year. Um, I was really proud of what, uh, watching him play and seeing the man he's become. So he's really... Uh, evolved in holding on his game.